We're not spamming everyone. You are. No, it's me. <laughs> so, hello. So, uh, today's episode is brought to you by Sapporo. <laughs> and Pornhub. Sapporo? Yeah. Well, actually, it's not. No, no, no. Not that we get a takedown request. <laughs> Uh, we never know. Um, <laughs> you never know. I don't know. Whatever. So, right. uh, yep. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm, uh, ah, I'm two, the Emi Chicken. Got two people in. Sorry, carry on, carry on. Yeah, I'm the Emi Chicken, and this is. Uh, well, I never pronounce it, but I, I'll say da Dayoho. Da Hi. Uh, we do Pandori. Would 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 you would you say it in a French accent or I mean? Dayoho. 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 No, I wouldn't. Or how would you say that in German? I mean, you're living in Germany there, aren't you? Dio! Dio! It's like a pirate, man. <laughs> which is good, which is nice. It's meant to be written and never said. <laughs> but, uh, oh, wait a second. Dejo. Go. Go All right, so. Right. Mm. Shall we, shall we uh, about, say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so everyone, uh, there's the Pandori place. If you don't know Discord, um, it's at the very top left of the video there. Um, Wait, I'm just trying to work this out that way. Yeah, it, it is the top left. <laughs> yeah, so the top that left, uh, my right apparently. But yeah, Discord.gg. If you want to join up there, you can write. Uh, you, you can spam. Uh, don't spam because they will kick you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you ready with the kick button there, Dave? Oh yeah, yeah. I wasn't there any before. <laughs> oh, you got to get them gifts. Gifts all lined up too, yeah. Oh, do the gifts work? I don't know if gifts work. We'll have a go. That, that was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. All right. So, um, yeah. So let's get into it, eh? Yeah, sure. Uh, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It just sends the link. Oh, what a shame. Let's get into what we're going to do today. Um, we had a test live stream last week, and uh, we basically forgot to record it. <laughs> So we're going to um, cover a few of the topics we covered last week. So people who tuned in last week uh, may uh, find some of the content familiar, but we're going to just we'll go off on tangents and ask, answer people's questions. If anyone wants to ask questions, just interrupt us, send a message in the chat, send a message in Discord, whatever. We're here. I've got uh, my eyes on all places here. Well, I mean, we've got some extra bits. I mean, for starters, I've got a hat. Yeah. You know, so it should be littered with uh, Easter eggs this week, so we're good. Excellent. <laughs> We've got a lot of new material so, here. So we ha we now have two people in the chat. What, uh, me <laughs> and Lurks. Hello, Lurks. Howdy ho. Nice to see you. Uh, is Lurks in our normal channel in our Discord? Could be. I do I think not he joined, uh, uh, joined up the Discord today. I think it's probably uh, one of the guys in our Facebook group. Could be, could be. Hello. Hello. Welcome. So, uh, I think we should just start, really. Okay, dokes. Um, yes, we make a Pandori tool. If you don't know Pandori tool, tool to add games into jailbreak your Pandora Games 3D and compatible consoles. And we also do a little bit of a jailbreak for the uh, Key 7. Yeah, we've not got uh, anything right. for the Linux yet, have we, though? The, uh... Yeah, the, uh, the older Linux boards, yeah, they're a bit more boring than the Android boards, and they can't do as much. Maybe at one point, but not yet. Okay, doke should we move into the browser then? Are we good for that? Yeah, go on then. Uh, what was our first topic? CX, oh, wasn't it? It was the CX. Oh, no, let, let me just have a look. Uh, oh, no. A look? C okay, so Pandora CX. Yep. We have one more viewer. Hello, one more viewer who isn't in the chat. Hello. Okay, so I'll just pop on the. Just pop this one up. All right, so this, this is, is the CX board, which looks exactly the same from the outside as the Pandora 9D, yeah. I believe, wasn't it? The orange one. This was announced announced about a week or a week and a half ago. Yep. And, uh, you know, it looks like an official board, but apparently it's not from 3H, it's from 3H. Basically yeah, are the they? Uh, they're connected. Though. They're connected. Yeah, yeah. there's three A, yeah, which no, are like the, the, uh, the. Was it the primary? Uh, the primary, you know, the publisher, the creators of the things, and then they've got three H, which is like the secondary. You know, it's like the minor set of that. I company. think. I think they basically just sell the cheap stuff over three H. Yeah, the cheap per stuff, I guess you could so, say. Um, <laughs> cheap. Which leads us to the CX. <laughs> All right. Um, so, and the comment, the comment that it looks like a nine. Oh, oh, 
Okay, so uh, I think, is it this one? Yeah, uh, Wicked Gamer actually did go through this uh, before. And uh, he meant he mentioned that, yeah, it looks very unusual, right? One, let me just find that. Where is it? There's like pictures. Rob of... says, I like the hat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think it got... Uh, <laughs> I think it got removed from that AliExpress since uh, I bought it, so... <laughs> oh, you have a CX on order, do you? Okay, let's let's open up a few. Just choose one. Where, where is that board? Oh, this one's saying it's got Killer Instinct on it. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't a lie. <laughs> but it isn't also the truth. <laughs> Okay, so for starters, here we go. It's uh, an A7 1.5. This is like the okay. uh, the spec sheet, yeah. Uh, it's got a Mali 450 MP2. It's a GPU. Resolution 720p, and also it can uh, bump down to 640 by 480, which is, which is exactly the same as the the 9D that I have. And also, it's got yeah. two gigabytes RAM. So. I mean, looking at that, it's nothing. I was say two. It's, 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 it's oh wait, system storage one, two, two gigabits of RAM, isn't it? Would it be two gigabits? <clears> oh <throat> my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, yeah that's, it's two gigabits. Uh, that's going to be divided by eight. It's going to be what is it? Uh, two hundred fifty-six uh, megabytes of RAM. Is it two gigabits or the gigabytes though? Hmm. It's good. GB is is um, gigabits. I would say. <laughs> I think this is Chinese trickery. <laughs> trickery, trickery. Um, two. Two gigabits in megabytes. I'm pretty sure it's two hundred fifty six. Oh my god, this has got like a games list on yeah, it. Yeah, oh. it's, two gigabits <laughs> is two hundred and fifty meg. Two hundred fifty six. I can't yeah. find I can't so, find it, but whatever. It's it, supposed to be an L board, isn't it? Are you looking for the board itself? Yeah. Yeah, probably all been covered up now. Oh, it's like oh in our tent oh. In our test stream, we saw pictures of the actual board. I'll tell you what. Had... I'll. Uh, I've got an idea. Wait, MS Paint. <laughs> 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 All right. So the I'm going to use some of these professional tools. Okay. So the board looks a bit like this. Yeah, that's how I did it in my head. There we go. All right. So this is the uh, the CX board, and yeah, I don't know what to make of it. What What do you reckon, Dave? It sort of looked on their photo. It's a shame we can't see it really, but uh, it looked like they cut it off and photoshopped it. <laughs> but, but in the corners, on the little bit that's sticking out at the bottom, there were screw holes, so it does actually look like there's half the board missing. This looks photoshopped to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But actually, to be fair, at the very uh, at the, yeah, at the part that's missing, it looked like there was tipex around this area. Yeah. Um, or yeah, it looked kind of like removed digitally. So, or with Tipex, whichever. So, um, yeah, it looks a bit funky to me. So this. So yeah, basically, it, look, it kind of looks like a toned down nine board or a, a recycled nine board. That's right. It, well, and there was ha hardly any identifying marks on it, except for you know green. So there was this, <laughs> except for green. But there was this board that was kind of interesting to me, uh, the the 3D Pandora Saga Box 14. So there's more numbers to it, you know. So I think the last one was 12, wasn't it? Yeah, this is a new one as well, isn't it, the jumbo board? Well, this is higher than 12. This is 14. Oh, it must be better then. Well, that's how it usually goes, right? Yeah. And it's got so... more games on it. Mm -hmm. But also, it's a it's a jammer board, right? So and this and this this is an Android one in comparison to the CX, which looks like a Linux one. It's got the classic indented menu on the on the CX, so the indented menu where each game is a little bit further indented than the rest uh, is a sign that it's a Linux uh, firmware. So this this one is a more chip based firmware, Android one. This is so the Android one, yeah, that's menus. right. This is the it's based on the H three M M. Oh, H three. This is the HP uh, chip, yeah. So yeah. it'll be very similar to the uh, what was it? The three, yeah, three H, nine uh, H, right? Nine H, yeah. Yeah, is that what you just said? Although the nine, the nine H, um, <laughs> some of the boards were on a GB two thousand. Uh, oh God, no! There are all loads, loads of differences, but this, this, 
might be actually sim- more similar to the saga, mm-hmm. um, to the um, potato saga, the two two zero five six whatever it is two two six five zero game one and the four one one eight one. Um, but judging by the stamp, we've got date stamps there on the uh, on the board. Yes, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty oh seven. Yep. So no no real indication of what firmware it's going to be. It could could still be. Because I can't. Can you see a NAND on there? I can't really see a NAND unless it's at the uh, underneath the forty nine on the uh, ID. If it looks to me that everything's yep. booting off a C- SD card. Possibly. I don't know. It'd be interesting so, to see uh, though. Oh, is um, that the uh, the Wi-Fi chip there in the middle? Yeah, this that's the Wi-Fi. So they'll have a market <laughs> on there as well. Yeah, the games market. So, it definitely has the store. But I'm thinking all of the entire systems on the SD. Okay. In a Linux partition running on Android. Right. Okay. So, but the thing is, with this board, uh, if you do have um, a an arcade system, it won't display uh, using this as video, right? No. The uh, the jammer is for controls only, and the rest is basically VGA and HDMI. Yeah. Personally, I don't understand the meaning of that. Why? I mean. Uh, I don't know why they don't convert think, it or something. Just convert it in the box. That would be so much more, you know, useful, I guess, mm-hmm. you know. All to do with cost, I suppose. And the, the, the general thing is, you know, uh, HDMI seems to be an indication of not having CGA support. Mm-hmm. I don't know how... No, wait a second. The, uh, no, no, the no. Pandora Game 6 does have it, doesn't it? Well, even the uh, uh, DX has it, right? Yeah, okay. But then it's on these... Uh, these boards with the Amlogic processors are probably using a Amlogic GPU chip, and God knows what, what that can output. It seems to be just sort of fixed on 720p, and even VGA is 720p squashed. Squared. So uh, maybe this can't convert it easily or cheaply. So you you, you basically scoop it if you want to use this in an arcade cabinet with a CRT. You need to use an LCD display. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or something that can you know can display it. Yeah, okay. So anyway, um, yeah. How about this best board to buy right now? I was always a big fan of the Pandora Games 3D 1.4 on the GP3000 board because <laughs> that was the first board um, you got, right? That was the first one we had. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, that has a NAND, yeah. and the, the onboard memory you can if you confuse the thing enough completely kill your machine. Right. Um, there are variants, these these PSA variants. Um, you may have to search on Ying Lucky, they've still got it. Oh, you're looking for a, a PG3D. And the, the, the PSA variants are usually on a green board and they have no NAND. There are some variants which do. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically with all of the complete system on an SD card, you can, uh, you're, you're better off because you can't really brick the system. Right. And I did a comparison on main 78 on a few shooters, and the 4118 feels very slightly faster than the Pandora Games 3D. Whoa, 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 whoa. 4118, that, that's a new number, isn't it, that? It's the new one. It's the, it's new the, number. Uh, the 2650 upgraded, basically. I know Same that. board. I know that's on Ying Lucky, because that's where you got it, right? Yep. Alright, so let's check this. Um, Mr. Matt! What's that? Mr. Matt says smiley face. S- smiley face. Nice. <laughs> it's nice we're being all smiley around here. Um, oh yeah. You can, you, yeah. Type, in, type in the number as well, that might that might help you find it. No, it won't, because look, I don't even know it. 4118 or is it 4188? Uh, yeah, one of those two. 4118, I think. Say again? <laughs> 4118. Let's try that then. There we go. Wonder what's gonna, gonna, there we go. Wonder what's gonna. Oh, sorry. Nothing. Let's try the other one. No, I was, I was kidding. You say four one eight eight. Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> now there are some here. The black ones have a NAND on them, and the green ones don't. Ooh. Now the black ones will, uh, if you can see underneath the serial number on the left, where it says two seven four. Underneath the two seven four is a NAND. Which means it will have the same problem as the, the GP3000 Pandora Games 3D boards. Hmm. That you can uh, brick your graphics settings and the thing just won't start up. Okay. And uh, sometimes you can kill it so much that you can't even recover it using an SD card. So, um, yeah, I would avoid this explicit model here and then go for the green one. 
Sorry, just gotta just gotta um <laughs> RIP. <laughs> RIP. <laughs> Rest in peace, my board here. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I also have an RIP here. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, for, for anyone's like yeah, if anyone's wondering, I actually uh, um, I was in the machine like trying to move this out, trying to get the uh, trying to get the micro SD in, and I actually shorted out some of the uh, the chips with a piece of metal that's in the machine. So oh, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was all on me that uh, this this is my brick one, and on my brick two, oh. uh, I actually touched the metal casing with. The Wi-Fi antenna, oh. and that shorts out things as well. That's quite good at shorting things out. You get sparks and smoke and everything with that. We need to go. Plastic. So don't do that. <laughs> plastic is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's apparently slightly metal. Um, yeah, so we have a couple of dead boards with Nans. Oh, but here we go. Click on the greeny one. Greeny. Click on the two. There we go. The green. The picture says two six five zero, but the description says four one eight eight. I currently think this is quite one of the most reliable boards. Um, the only difference and disadvantage so far that I've found is that it's not got an internal micro SD or a mini USB. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Micro SD, but the mini USB connector is um, missing. So you might be able to add it, maybe, if you've got... You might be able to add it in the corner, but uh, if you want an internal drive or an internal SSD mm -hmm. and want to plug it into there inside the machine, you can't at the moment. You have to run something from the outside to the inside using the external USB slots. Right. <clears throat> Okie dokes. So that that's your so, recommendation, um, is it, yeah? Yeah. Um, this, the problem with this, though, is that all the SD-based firmwares from Mordchip, they seem to be built on the same day, and they just sort of swapped out all the logos. So one of them says Saga 2650, one of them says Saga 4118. But other than that, the firmware is identical, and it's at 2019... August 26th. Right. So you have the older emulators, you have the older uh, Mega Drive emulator, you have the older SNES emulator, it seems. Mm -hmm. um, and you have like the problem with the icon from the Mega Drive, it's, uh, it says Xbox instead. Yeah. But what you can do is you can get one of these boards and you can flash the system partition on it and replace it with the one from the Pandora Games 3D, February. And this effectively updates this board to a Pandora Games 3D with an SD-based bootable firmware, which Man. is uh, basically the best of both worlds. You get the newer emulators, and you basically get an unbrickable system mat. There we go. So, so that's your that's your pick, yeah? That's my pick, but it, um, since everything's loading from the SD and not from NAND, I do have the... Uh, I think it's basically going to boot a slightly slower than the other variants. But, you know, it's the first, you turn it on, you wait a little bit, then it's on. Let's move that. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't mind whatever whatever I get, as long as it's not a, a, a DX, to be honest. But I'll, we can go on about that yeah. next week, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of people will, will probably be asking why why the ODA records now, why not the DX? That's, that's original. Well, yeah, they're all tiny boards, and you basically choose what you want to do. I can see the XD is. Sorry, man, you're cutting out. You might have to uh, move move a bit. <laughs> Maybe your Wi Wi Fi is going off. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you want to just reconnect, man? All right. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's the best board to buy. That's Dave's pick. My pick would probably be a PC. Ha <laughs> ha. Not really. Uh, yeah, it's very similar to Dave's, but yeah. So anyway, Dave, uh, should we go into some um, some features of the new one one oh seven? Is that okay? Something is really with your sound right now. Something is messed you, up with your uh, maybe reconnect the chat. Oh, there we go. You're okay now. I think you caught up. So let's try it. I think you caught up now, Dave. Hello. No, you're not caught up. Okay. <laughs> Should be able to reconnect. Anyway, so I'm just going to switch to... That's better. There we go. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> Hi. What are we doing now? You've, you've changed everything. What, you, you've sprinted ahead with the bloody agenda. Again. What's going boom. on here? Oh, 
Um, wait, agenda? The next thing's 107 features, isn't it? Oh, right, you're right. I'm sorry, I take everything back. Right, good. So everything was different when I came back. You know, I thought, you know, finally got rid of me, and then you changed over. Oh, so. and, then, and then, yeah, we got rid of that board, sorry. Um, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> that's... Let's hit up the so, uh, features. Do you want to knock them, knock them uh, off? Do you want to keep go, go down the list? Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, what do we do? Well, we're on Tekken 6. Why don't we show the MSAA stuff? Okay. Um, Tekken 6 or Tekken 5? Uh, Tekken 6 is fine. Okay, look, guys. So, uh, yeah, Tekken 6, we've actually improved the graphics, I guess. Uh, the first... Well, let, let me just turn off that that ticker. That's, this is a bit annoying, Matt. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. how do you turn off the ticker? Do you remember, Dave? I have absolutely no idea what you're there talking it, about. But... There it is. Game notice. I'm going to turn that off <clears throat> and then stops the ticker at the top, isn't it? Ah, right. Yes. There we go. All right. So, in uh, Tekken 6, what we've done is the first PSP fix, it, um, it, it optimizes the, uh, you could say speeds. It's, it's a bit, you know, uh, we basically optimize the settings so it's faster, uh, a bit more responsive. Um, we've been playing around with the settings, right? And yeah, then we moved, uh, well, recently what we've done is uh, we've knocked up the graphics. Uh, well, what's the quote from Bender? What is it? <laughs> uh, taking it up a notch. Bam, there we go. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, we've knocked it up a notch. And um, yeah, what we've done is we've added the MSA, MSXAA, is it or something? I don't know. It's something about Pornhub. Um, MSAA, I think. There's an X in there, isn't there? No, there is not. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, so we've done that, and we've also turned on the uh, GPU hardware something something. You probably know the, the terminology for that. Uh, we've uh, forced GPU rendering. Okay. So anyway. Um, Multi sample anti aliasing is MSAA. Okay. Uh, does anyone want to choose my character? Because I'm, I'm equally terrible with everyone here, so... Well, we have Matt in the chat, so Matt needs to choose your character. Oh, no. <laughs> no? Okay, so... Oh, I'm gonna we've, we've got Nux as well. Hello, Nux. I didn't see Nux. Do I need to and choose we, some boobies? Yeah. Well, whatever you like. Whatever you like, you know. Uh, are we good? Quite partial. There we go. Go on. Asuka. Kai Kazuya. Matt says Kazuya. God damn it. Whoever Kazuya is. Kazuya. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> Kazuya. I've only ever yes, played yes, against yes, Kazuya, yes. so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, my buddy, you know, my buddy always chose Kazuya, and I was always Paul, so. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, you know all the yeah, so what we've done is we've turned on the MSAX and we've uh, added the GPU hardware rendering. So. It's a bit, it's a bit um, better with smooth around the edges, latency, and also yeah, you can see up up here in the in the backgrounds mainly, um, yeah, all of the dots are just not there anymore, you know. Great. All of the jaggies are basically gone. No jaggies for anything that counts, you know. Yeah. You, you can really notice so. it on this stage in the back with the jet and then lines they're going across or something. Point. Oh, it looks really good, this. What's and that? this is with, uh, with, with GPU acceleration on as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're getting uh, slightly less input lag. Slightly higher uh, frame rate than before. Yeah. I mean, if you're going off... Um, if you're going from uh, stock, and then this is like, you know, two knocks higher, right? Two notches higher, so... Round one. Especially if you're going... Uh, if you're playing as a Tekken the Five with them stages with the fire on, you played that? No, you had them problems. I've, I've turned on Tekken Five about three times, <laughs> and you've not had any issues with that, right? Well, um, except that it was absolutely black, <laughs> awful. But um, I wasn't much of a PSP fan to be honest, Round and uh, couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you really. Um, yeah. And I tried it before we fixed the PSP controls, so uh, I got a bad opinion of it straight away. Okay. So yeah, uh, the fire stages on the Tekken 5, they were just uh, unplayable, and also the last boss. You couldn't actually complete it um, from the stock. 
Pandora. Ah, uh, this, this, this is in the, um, the PSP fix though, right? Yeah, that was in the, the first MSA PSP game. fix. And then uh, th this knocks it off again, you know, so... Beautiful. Alright, we'll, we'll uh, go on to the next one then. Mm. Nightmare. Round one. Which is? I have no idea. Uh, one second. Uh, let me think. We've done acceleration. <laughs> uh, do the aspect ratio changes. All right. What's your favorite game? Metal Slug. Uh, whichever. Are you on a three D plus here, or are you on a uh, two four four eight? This is the plus. This is the plus. So we could do a fat uh, shoot 'em up. Maybe an FBA version of. Uh, Dodon Patchy. Dodon Patchy, okay. Yep. I was going to write Go Go Patchy, but. You can do that if you like, but you won't find Dodon Patchy. Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. Dodon Patchy Die. Uh, do, do the bootleg, do the bootleg on FBA. Because the. Uh, the FBA emulator on the 3D Plus is actually. Um, have you quit this now? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, should I put the scan oh. lines on or? What do you reckon? Keep Skylines off? Uh, we can put the Skylines on later on, I think. Alright. So I'll switch them off now, yeah? Boop, 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 boop. The, uh, what boop was like. I saying? 3 plus, 3 plus firmware has a different Final Burn Alpha uh, emulator on, mm -hmm. and it basically stretches the to the entire screen. So you get fat FBA games. Like that. Unless you correctly like this. And this isn't meant to be a vertical game, so we now have um, what was the key press? I've forgotten the key press. <laughs> it's uh, oh, that's, player that's one star. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I want to. I want to try playing it like this. To be honest, is, is it okay? Can I just try playing like this? Yeah, of course. I've never yeah. tried this. Okay, let's try this. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is this is the bootleg though, right? I think it's been sped up. Yeah, but still, I mean, it's, all the it's a default like this, is it? This is all like this, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> uh, some, some of the, this one's actually okay like this, but some of them are really unplayable. The sprites, you know, twice the size. <laughs> it's like how quickly do you move left and right on this? This is inset this is intense. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, the, that's gonna short you out. Oh, you got out of it, wow. How long are you gonna last on this? I think you actually secretly been practicing this. What is it? Is this? No. Whoa. What? Should I be? What? I don't know. I'm waiting for the next. Uh, you wait for me to die, aren't you? You, you, you expected me oh, to this... die, Mr. Bond. Right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you died? <laughs> no, right. you died. No, you died. So what we can do is we can press D. No wait, E, and the start yep. button, and it switches the aspect ratio. Yeah. Yeah. The other way around. Start on E. Is a better way to do it. Uh, yeah, hold E and then push start, and then uh, there we go, we switched again. Ooh. And yeah, so we have now three different aspect ratio. Um, One, two, aspect three. Aspect ratios are available. So the 16 by 9, 4 by 3, and 3 by 4, basically. Sorry, one minute, I just, I just saw something on this. Uh, you can choose between a weak ship and a strong ship. Why? Yeah, you have different uh, shooting modes. Let me die. You have, a you have a better gun on, uh, somehow on the weak ship, but okay. you die quickly. Oh, you probably could something like that. Something on the weak ship. Okay. Hold down the button while you're shooting. Oh, there's a oh, there's a different button. Yeah. Oh, I know it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, it's gonna finish you off. It's gonna. Oh. Right, we're we gonna play this all day. We're we gonna swap over to something else. Um. Yeah, so that's the three aspect ratios, okay. Um, and then we can move on to yeah. scanline, perhaps? Yeah, uh, well, we'll do the color corrections then. Show, show scanlines. You can you can take over and describe that. We'll just do the same game. Boop. All right, so what we've done is um, the scanlines, originally all they did was blank out half of the screen. Uh, change it to black, and they didn't do anything else. So what happened was uh, essentially just darken the whole screen, which is not how it should be because on the CRT screens, uh, it's, it's just abnormally bright. Okay, 
so what we did was we uh, yeah we brightened the the output. And we also added some saturation to the screen. Yeah, right. Yay or nay? Yeah. This. Yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we um we we detect whether when we start a game we detect whether scan lines are on, and if scan lines are on, we increase the brightness and the contrast slightly. Uh, did we? Uh, I think we left saturation alone, didn't we? We may have actually. Um... Yeah. Um, this is just to basically cancel out a little bit of the uh, the dark of the scan lines, yeah. and uh, it makes the world of difference when you uh, when you're playing. Oh yeah, definitely. I could like, not use the scan lines before. I still I still really not a fan now, but um, it's an awful lot awful lot better. <laughs> As you can see, I'm I'm playing this a l much better than I was earlier, so obviously it's... Yeah, it must be the stand lines, it must be the stand lines. <laughs> <laughs> Not the aspect ratio or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the game that we usually played was, uh, was it, well, that I usually played was Metal Slug, to be fair. Um, no, go on, we'll, uh, shall we turn on Metal Slug? Yeah, you know? Yeah, go on. Um, Uno. Uno. No. There we go. Oh man. I've not so Jake like, likes our uh, our live stream on Facebook. Hello, Jake. Oh yay! I've completely forgot. Yeah, the 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 Usually, I switch the BIOS to the Japanese one, but uh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, if I change the the Japanese BIOS, then we won't be happy to. What's that? Oh, one second. Oh. You have a comment saying turn on the load. Well, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like I play it for the, the game. I don't play it for bloody seeing little red bits of you know graphic uh, violence. You know. You know. I, I, <laughs> you know. There's been many games like that. It's like oh oh oh, we want these amazing graphics, and then there's like zero gameplay. You remember the one? Was it Rise of the Robots? Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> Rise the Roblox. Rise the Roblox. <laughs> Rise the Roblox. Um, it's a new one if anyone's interested. Um, now he's gonna get you. No, he's not. Nice. You practiced this first level quite a lot, haven't you? You got practiced. No. Boing. Yeah. So All right. this is uh, yeah metal slug with the whole yeah boopers. Um, and uh, when when we disable scan lines, we get a slightly different optimization. We change the different color values, different brightness values. Yeah, I think we did happens. change it a little bit because uh, the I think the Pandora the 3D was very um, it seemed a bit washed out compared to uh, the the nine and the other Pandora boards. So we did adjust it a little bit, but not enough for you to any for anyone to notice really. So. Yeah, you can see if you do a direct comparison that you know it's a little bit more yellow after after changing, but it's just this is just bit an, op an optic thing, you know. We did it because we could, yeah, but not because it was really needed. Not not because we should. We just could. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we thought, oh, we can change the brightness. We've got to do it now. <laughs> brightness time. Go go go, go go. Uh, I'm looking at the agenda here, but we're still on point four. Uh, what have we forgotten? Dip switches. We oh. could do some dip switches, all right. Uh, but not. On, um, this is uh, not on FBA probably because this is the 3D plus. That's right. Yeah, on the plus, uh, they oh. nerfed the uh, the FBA emulator, so we cannot get to the dip switches on the plus, nor can we use any configs. So if you want, it, if you want to use dip switches on the FBA, you can with the standard 3D and also the Saga. This is this is like uh, all of the more chip boards up to firmware February seventeenth, twenty twenty. So everything after February seventeenth, twenty twenty has this newer nerfed firmware, including the what's it called Saga DIY. Oh, that okay. Yeah, which is basically the three D with a new logo or three D plus yourself. with a new logo. Not that we were doing it anyway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do it yourself. Just, just, just go on, do it yourself. I mean, we, we could have done it ourselves like ages ago, right? Just do it yourself. <laughs> go buy a pie, you know? Just do yeah. it yourself. We are doing that like years ago. <laughs> you know? And I was spending maybe like a whole year just like configuring it. I'm not even done yet, you know what I mean? Oh. oh I don't God. think we'll ever be done, to be, real, to be honest. 
the thing is, it's, it's, it's completely different markets. The, yeah. the Pandoras are for people who want to plug it in. Yep. And the Pies are for people who want to plug it in and configure it. Yep. Um, if you plug in a Pandora, it's just basically crap. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it needs a little, little bit of love. A little bit of, <laughs> little bit of punch in here and there. We're good. Yeah, there, mild violence, and then it, then, it, then it turns out to be quite all right. <laughs> but um, if, you, if you're on a Pi, you've, you've got your problem with your SD card dying all the time because they eat SD cards. And oh you've got each emulator, which works completely differently yeah. with no no common menu and God knows what. And you think, eh, yeah, you can, in, you can install some little front ends for it, but none of it's great. Yeah, you need like a Bible and, just to get through, you know, <laughs> you know, or a lot I of mean, time, especially, you know. They've started doing new ones selling these arcade sticks with pies inside, mm. but you, the first videos I've seen them, you know, they weren't really good. You can see that they're still rough around the edges. Yeah, I mean, the, maybe, the computer's maybe looking in the pretty good, though. Years. I don't know if you've seen that, the, the Pi 400. That was pretty decent. That one I haven't seen yet. No, no is that, uh, what menu does it have? Do you know? Is it it's, it's a. It's just a Pi, so you can choose your. You know, you choose your yeah. distro or whatever. But the thing is, it's inbuilt into a keyboard. It's a Pi Four inbuilt into a keyboard, so it's very. Oh, I did to, like, see that. You know, I did see that. Yeah. So you could think of it like a, maybe an Amiga Five Hundred. You know, like back in the day. Mm. Plug it up to your your TV, and then you know you've got a computer straight away. You know, and just bang, bish bosh bash. Yeah. Or a Spectrum, I guess, you could, <laughs> or a Commodore 64, whatever you use, I now. Yeah. No, I think I'll stick with the Pandora. It's much more fun taking okay. about the Chinese stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, other than that, uh, 107 features, the new features. Yeah, we, we were about to show dip switches and then we got lost. Oh, there we go. We did get lost. All right. Um, <laughs> we got lost. Uh, okay, we go to category, maybe May. What, what are we going to play? Uh, British King of Fighters? Is, is that going to end? We can, can, can try it out. I mean, usually King of sure. Fighters would be played on uh, on the FBA emulator, which is yes. the place to go, but... Let's see. Oh, there we go. Boop. Oh, we got this which is here. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, this is actually the main menu, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> How many coin cheats? Uh, so yeah, uh, we, what was the um, the shortcut for people who don't know? Uh, we've done it. Uh, we've we've made it to be a start the uh, one player start and D. Okay. Uh, what the and these tip switches they need to be they um, they only work on certain times. So some t some ROMs expect you to press them straight away. Some ROMs work all the time wherever you are in the game. But it's basically um, not hit and miss, but you know your mileage may vary depending on ROM. I had no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> um, You've just been hammering the button, have you? <laughs> yeah, I just just keep pushing buttons <laughs> until something happens. Uh, this is, I think, this is the stock version of Mortal Kombat. I don't think I switched. Yeah, this one yet. It, it seems to be loading as fast as the stock version of Mortal Kombat. Instant. Here we go. Instant. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, was Mortal Kombat the one that only worked on main, or does it work on FBA as well? I can't remember. Um, I believe. I don't know. Changed. Oh, I forgot about the. Uh... Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. We're good. Midway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got diagnostic tests and stuff. And game audit. So game if, if your emulator supports saving by the menu, so save states, you can you can preset up your oh, game. No, that's fine. Save your no, state. If you add it with Pandori, then you can change. Yeah. It. If that you add it with Pandori. Yeah. Uh, which is which is what this is. This is one of the, this is our main uh, one of our main uh, things, isn't it? The main. Is it features for Pandori, right? You can add well, games. You can add your games. Well, yeah. With save well, state. Um, <laughs> with save state. But th that isn't because of Pandori. It's because of the emulator that's currently used. The most of the stock games on the SD card are main seventy eight. Basically, because they thought, oh, well, looks better performance, we'll put on MAME 78. Um, but a lot of the games work equally as well on MAME 139, and MAME 139 supports save states. So you have a save state in the menu. What are you doing here? Winning streak. I'm going to win. I'm, I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm going to win. Right. Any burn and return to test mode, open the switches to return to the game. 
I don't know how to play. I don't have to do this. I'm running away. <laughs> anyway, so let's carry on. All right. Um, I'm just, just thinking. I've not tested it, but would this fix defender? Uh, defend. I don't think because, defender was on because, stock. To be fair, um, was it not on stock? I don't think so. Uh, we fix. Yeah, De defender is uh, a game that we added the defender config red for. label. There it is. Um, and yeah, we added the config for it, and yeah, uh, basically, usually it stops and you can't load it. Um, but yeah, if you use the dip switch. Or does this have a pre a pre made save state to get in? This is already in, isn't it? This is in. This is in, and, and this is loading a save state at at boot, basically. All oh, right. I really don't know the, the, the buttons for this game. No. <laughs> like, I'm the person that changed all the buttons to be like default. No, you know what I mean? But it. it's like, what are the buttons? <laughs> I never played yeah. this game. <laughs> I never played this game in my life! <laughs> this is the one that everyone asks for and you think, hmm. <laughs> I never played! Like, the only, the only time I played Defender was on the Amstrad and it was Defender 2, you know what I mean? And, oh, we. Yeah, this looks very good. Man. I bet this is good with a beer. Spaceman. Anyway. Whoa. Right. Uh. Let, let, let's run away from that one. Anyway, so yeah. We've but, done that, uh, 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 we've got, um. <laughs> But they do work, dip switches, yes. Yeah. They do. What we, we also have, we have the Android switch, you can, if that works. Oh, Android switch, let's try. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And, big delay on my end. This is the video, worked on your end. Yeah, five second delay for the video capture. Yeah, um, I may need to go get my keyboard. I'll be back. Man, you don't need your keyboard, we can just say. Oh, gone off. Hello everyone, what a load. So basically you can plug in on your bottom USB port a keyboard, which uh, Tim is doing now. And uh, if it has a built-in mouse, you can use a mouse as well, or you can use a USB extension or splitter, and then you can plug a mouse and a keyboard in, and you basically have a full Android 4 system. Oh dear. <laughs> you got your thinking face on. All plugged yeah, in? It's in. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So now we have control. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's a um, couple of things. Uh, you've got movie players here, and you can install your own extra APKs. You've got a uh, app installer APK. There it is, yeah. Which is there, like the fifth, the fifth one on the on the menu. Um, so if you find any compatible Android 4.4, is it 4.42 ROM? Yes, yeah, so. one. ABK file. Mm -hmm. You can install it and basically have that on on the menu here. Uh, there's basically whatever you try is the limit, really. We this this, this area of the Pandora is sort of DIY. Install what you can, try it out. Some people have tried even installed Netflix, which we will maybe show later on. Um, I don't have what we don't. Sorry. What, um, <laughs> what Tim might not even have tried yet is Miracast. No. Have you seen Miracast? Nope. Miracast um, lets you looks for devices in your network, like your router, that's sharing files. So if your router is sharing video files on an external hard drive, yep. you can stream them to your Miracast via the network. So you can basically watch watch media. So uh, Rob right. says so, I have uh, I have Netflix and works fine. Okay, so one minute. So Miracast, you can uh, display videos that are on your network. Yeah, is that right? Yes, you can. You can basically stream to it from Android um, Android devices. So I think you can even stream from your phone to the Pandora. All right. So and you can and you can. Um, it's U UPnP DMLA sharing. So okay. like. Um, if you're sharing, if you have Universal Media Server on your PC, Universal Media Server will pop up here mm -hmm. in the peers list, and you can watch all of your media library from your PC on your Pandora. Wow. I've had, yeah. it, there. I've had it there for like maybe over a year. Well, actually, that won't die. <laughs> and I didn't, 
have a clue what it was. I was just like, what is this? You know, but that's that's nice, man. That, that'd be good. Because I, I, I've I, tried this out with um, I have a Linux, uh, so a low-powered Linux computer upstairs in the loft. And it's basically plugged in uh, via Ethernet, and it has this universal media server running on it. Hmm. And so I have all my media library on there, and I can stream it to basically any device in the house, including including this. And also, Miracast has some Apple settings in there, so it could be that you can stream your Apple device to it too. Just give me give me five seconds, man. There's someone at the door. Okay. Now this is um, what else do we have. We have you can add your music library to this, and what you see at the top is Retro Arc or Retro Arch. Uh, we've got the possibility there to add a load of new emulators. Uh, we'll go into that on the next next point, but at the moment you're restricted a little bit because you you need a keyboard and mouse to plug it in. Um, so at the moment you cannot jump to this via the inbuilt arcade sticks. So to start it, you need to you need to plug in your mouse. You need to do your annual Android switch. You need to click on it, RetroArch, and then you then you have access to everything. But we'll show you that in a little bit. What else do we have? Um, the open launcher is what you actually see now. That's the menu. Um, on the Pandora Games 3D2448, they actually removed the Android launcher. Um, so, no, they didn't. They, they removed that on the 3D Plus. And on the 2448, there's an inbuilt Android launcher. So this open launcher is only really necessary for the Pandora Games 3D Plus. Um, I think they tried to go the system a little bit and they removed all of the interesting Android apps. Sorry, man. Uh, there's someone at the door. You gave me some water. It's all right. I was so just, a beer. <laughs> I was babbling to myself, so everything's fine. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Um, so I think, uh, have we covered all of the features now at one point for Zero Seven? I mean, we've got, we've got um, FTP and stuff like that, but we can show that later on. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if how about we change the topic a bit? Yeah, if you want to check out uh, more features, just check out the uh, the video that we've done. You know, we've done a few like uh, Pandora videos. I mean, it'd be just yeah dumb to just keep going on about it here. Let's let's move on, man. Let's talk about Hyoga Lee. Oh my God, what a guy! <laughs> I, I, I want you take over now. I want a poster of uh, Hyoga Lee. <laughs> <laughs> It's a handsome guy, handsome guy, handsome fella. Let's let's uh, check out. Yeah, so this guy here, there he is. Yoga Lee. Your audio is faster than you. There we go. Yep. So, uh, Yoga Lee. Yeah. Um, yeah. He just kind of came out of nowhere a few months ago, right? Maybe in was it July? July yeah. time was it or June? One of those two. Yeah. Yeah. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere with this video. Oh, sorry, man. There's there's a date here. Uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, he, yeah, so he came out with the, the video and he's like, "Oh man, we, we use Pandora. Well, I use Pandora to to jailbreak my unjailbreakable saga." And we're like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> this this was this was um, a few months back though. Really, this this video that you have open is from October, but he he did his jailbreaking back in July or something like that. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we did this, and then the video after, like, was really interesting because it's like Naomi on. No, was it first the video that he did was on Netflix, right? Well, uh, um, go back into his history, click on his name, and have a look. Oh, well, let's check out some of his videos. If you're not, then, uh, if you're not subscribed to him yet, he's on YouTube. Hiyoga Lee, what a guy. Um, he's he knows his stuff about beer, so yeah. Yeah, he has <laughs> so, beer every video. Yeah, yeah. So he goes, uh, yeah, his installation of Pandora tool, and then he he go he moves into RetroArch, right? And then he shows. There we go. There is, there, there's his Netflix one, the bottom bottom left. This one here. There you go. Netflix. 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 Uh, there he is in his ghost. Oh, what a guy! <laughs> and what he did is, is he. Is he jailbroke his system manually before Pandora could jailbreak his saga? Yep, that's the because, one. Because uh, his saga doesn't have a, a fully compatible recovery partition. So he basically found some instructions. He uh, took apart how Pandora works and did it all himself. There we go. Um, and, 
and uh, got Android working on his system. Then he proceeded to basically uh, put loads of cool stuff on there. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I mean, if you can't understand Spanish, it's mainly Spanish, right? Um, yeah, and then we just close the video window, don't we? Uh, use down here, the bottom right, uh, subtitles, close that the captions and change it to your language. So Spanish, you know, <clears> auto-translate <throat> to... Uh, it's well worth it just to see what he's... Uh, right now you're speaking speak. Korean, right? I think you've been speaking Korean recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's Korean. You've, it starts with a K, Tim. I know, but I was looking for the hoops. There we go. There oh, there we go. There we go. Who's in Korean? There we go. Mm. If you speak Korean, we have at least one who does us in the channel. Yeah, that's right. Um, then you know what he's doing. So, so Hyoga Lee, this is for you. Um, this beer in Japan is really good. If you come oh, over, oh, it's Paula of ice beer, horrible stuff. This this one is not vice beer. This is uh, this is called Kirin beer Ichiban Shibori. It's great. Oh. You're on about his beer. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm I, I talking didn't... about his beer, the one with Paul Paulana written sorry, on it. Sorry, I, di I, I didn't know you were reading the subtitles. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, are we going to fast forward to when we lose Netflix? Oh, he goes into PPV. Saw, I saw it at the end, I think. You can see see where he does it all. He's done all the PSP fixes as well, manually. Was that it? No, yeah, that, was, that was something. Oh, I think cast. he was doing... Dreamcast. Oh no, this is the one that goes into Dreamcast. His his picture was uh, of Netflix, right? Of Netflix. Maybe maybe, it's, uh, maybe you'll have to watch the whole thing to do it. I don't know. I think he made another video about it as well. Oh, that could be it then. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. You can. Um, they're, they're all worth a watch, really. Mhm. Mm Definitely. You can see it on the on the thumbnail at least. Mm. But and, he also uh, likes. Yeah, he also is a fan of the system that you like there, the FC3000 Family Pocket. Yeah, the one I sat on. <laughs> Fantastic little system, uh, but don't sit on it. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, you might want like to use, some, like you might want to use one of them... Uh, games. Sorry, you might want to use one of them, uh, them uh, glass shields, the ones that are on uh, you know, uh, AliExpress with like the drill on it. You know, <laughs> it's like yeah. it, it can withstand a drill, so it'll be able to withstand your arse. Yeah, well, okay then. Because um, <laughs> without them, you could basically press the press the screen and it moves in. You know, it moves in about half a centimeter. <laughs> so cheapest chips, but you basically have like all the Game Boy stuff on there, all the Mega Drive, all the no SNES, all the NES, uh, all the Game Boy, uh, every, every handheld you can you really um, really need. But it's it's not really accurate. There's some ROM emulation bugs, sound bugs, but it's just to turn on and play. It's a toilet console. Hey, all right. Well worth it. So, uh, what did, what else did you wanted to show from his videos? Was uh, all right. So yeah, stuff? he's been mainly going on about uh, was it RetroArch, and then he moved on to Naomi. This was like months ago. Well, like one month ago, almost two months ago now. Um, even that first video was showing uh, Dreamcast. But recently, we've been getting. Uh, I don't know if you you've seen the posts about yeah, King of Fighters 11 and fully appear on Dreamcast. And after that was Metal Slug 6 ported to the Dreamcast. Yeah. <laughs> any uh, you see any of this? No, yes, no. I've seen this. I've seen this. <laughs> Anything that Sorry, no, catches stream, your eye it? or uh yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, with a question mark. <laughs> yes, possibly. <laughs> Yeah, it caught my, caught my eye when testing it on the Pandora Games 3D, that it was shite. All right, so let's have a look. Basically. <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so oh, gonna, yeah. which game was it that you said you wanted to look at? Um, let's Metal have a look at Metal Slug. Please, please load, please load, please load. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't work, then... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So yeah, you're a fan of Metal Slug, yeah? Is that right? I like Metal Slug, very good. Um, I'd be a fan, but I, I really don't care too much to the games again. <laughs> it's probably like one of them, uh, I don't know, like quick 100 yen things, you know. It's, oh, game of Metal Slug, why not, you know? And then that's it, you know. 
But yeah, um, I, I could uh, imagine putting more money in uh, shoot 'em up arcade cabinets than Metal Slug. To be honest, is Metal Slug not a shoot 'em up? <laughs> a uh, spaceship shoot 'em up. Okay, you need spaceships. Okay, <laughs> spaceships. All right, so this is Metal Slug, <laughs> Slug Six on yeah. the stock emulator. And how is it doing this? How is it doing this? Okay, so it, um, yeah, so we've got the Atomus Wave to the Dreamcast port, and we've used the Dreamcast port, and we've installed it to the Pandora Games menu, and, uh, yeah. And it's doing, I read somewhere that it's doing this could be some sort of net boot trickery stuff. Not a glue, man. Uh, but apparently, Not the Dreamcast has most of the system, most of the hardware of an Atomus Wave system. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so it can mostly do it right. as hardware. So if it works on the Dreamcast, it can mostly emulate uh, yeah. perfectly if on a real... If the emulator Dreamcast. is good enough, which we will see now. Yeah. It's perfectly like... Uh, this is false. Right, right. 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 Marco. What do you whatever, like whatever. What do you like the glasses? Harry. Mission! Do Harry! Harry! <laughs> oh, looking pretty good. Looks amazing, man. What's your problem? What's your problem? This is perfect, man. What's your problem? Oh. <laughs> Look! It's working perfectly! Look, I'm walking a little bit. What's perfect? Look! It's even got blood! Oh, if it's got blood, then it must be good. Just... Oh! Oh! What's this? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! But you oh, know, it yeah. doesn't matter because it's got blood. The first thing here, I know. Uh, yeah. Very playable, <laughs> very playable. Looks great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm Still playable ish. Snap. And we have to say, though, that not all of the Atomic Wave ports are bad. I mean, the King, uh, the, uh, King of Pipers one seems to work okay. Um. We've had a report that it crashes eventually, didn't we? But... Yeah. Was that slowdown just now while jumping? Uh, it was a bit of slowdown, I think. But, you know, I don't know what to expect with Metal Slug, you know, to be fair. Right? I mean, it's sort of half alright, the scrolling is dead on. I think, you know, it's not like it's unplayable, it's just buggy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, running into like a screen of black. It... Well, it's... Thank you. Are you entertained? <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed at it. This is spice work. What's that? You're a spice girl? No, no, not a spice girl. Even though I wish I was, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave the house if I were. Um, but at least the spikes are working. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the speed looks all right. There was only that one one bit of slowdown during the jump, and then the rest looks fine here. Yep. Right. So, uh, what do you want? Do you want to show the other ports first, or do you want to yeah, switch over? The other, over and... um, the other ones are yeah, King of Fighters eleven. Man, I've got twelve. I've got twelve on Steam. You know, it's a great game. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> You know, I, I never really was into King of Fighters until I played King of Fighters 12. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> oh no, I've broken something in Discord. I seem to be moving icons around. I won't, I'll stop touching things. So. Alright. So, yeah. Same deal. <laughs> Same deal, uh, I guess you could say a uh, release uh, uh, so, Total Key says, hi you guys, how are you both going? Hi guy. We're both going fine. Hi Chris. Yeah. Hi Chris. It's the, it's the guy that actually knows anything about our <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> like, asked stupid I'm, questions we've asked Chris? <laughs> So yeah, King, you you're just that? in time for King of Fighters. Someone you or not. Yeah, you're going to um, maybe hear a few things you've heard before, Chris. We're repeating a few of the topics from last time. 
going off on tangents whenever anyone's got a question or whatever. So this is, uh, yeah, King of Fighters uh, 11, and um, with the release you get a few, um, you get a GBI file, as well as some uh, tracks, uh, tracks on the CD, they're all, uh, not, not, not the best names, not the best names, they need to be uh, retitled, but we name them, and uh, do some screw hopefully, but this is how it runs on the Pandora game, pretty good, but, uh, this not, was, I mean, the package controls or the fixed controls? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, from the release, you do get a certain, yeah, a control set, but yeah, I, uh, changed them by, uh, opening up, is it an old DC, and you can, um, you can change it, change the controls to a good focus, and then you can save them out, to, and then, uh, you can put them into the, uh, the tracks, which the, the developer the actually added the, uh, the four. Yeah. It's working really good. Do you think? It's working really good, mate. No, it looks quite good. It's quite good. I'll see if it ever locks up, but I'm not going to play it half an hour to time it up. Okay, so. So this is... It's probably the only game that I think works well. Okay, Chris says, Actually, I was wondering if you guys have tried Dolphin Blue or Knights of Valor the Thomas Wave ports yet. I also assume they are a the format pack. Uh, I've heard that I think the uh, Knights of Valor, if someone in our uh, Discord has tried that, uh, not great, but I have tried it in the... 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 We don't have any other ports on the stock emulator, we only have two, right? We've got a few more. Oh, you've got another one, you've got another one. Yeah, I've, I've added uh, d -d 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 these two. Uh, Neo Geo Battle. Uh, no, I thought you were going down to Crazy Taxi then. Sure, that's spelled badly. Um, you want to check this one out? Man, if you like Metal Slug, you'll like this one. Possibly. Okay. So this is uh, a King of Fighters kind of game, but it mixes up all the Neo Geo characters into it. So it's got uh, Metal Slug characters as well as all sorts of jiggery pokery. It's it's a bit a bit nuts, man. It's good. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> what's going on, man? What's going on? Is it loading? I believe so. The screen's white. Just missed oh. the King of Fighters. Do you get freezing? Says Rob of Smeg. It it wasn't freezing until that point, but I've only played maybe like one fight, so. Okay. Yeah, we didn't show it a long a long time, Rob. Sorry. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum is really good, says Chris. Uh, <laughs> I think this is like King of Epilepsy. Um, let's choose assets and. Who's your favorite guy? This guy, right? Choose, choose one. There you go. Marco! Oh. I hate when that happens, you go against yourself, it's just dumb. My versus my. Oh, this is mine. But then again, I mean, you know, double. Has a couple of advantages. <laughs> I can think of a couple. <laughs> <laughs> no Alright, let's see. Oh, check the girl on the right. <laughs> yeah. What on earth is kid doing? Oh. Yeah. I mean, this, okay, this, that this stage is not bad to be fair. What's happening with the background here? I've not seen this one yet. It seems to work well though. Yeah, I think it depends on the uh, on the stage. Okay. Well, you can see the girl in the back. Kind of in and out. Yeah, there's some funny, funny lines. Oh, there's a favorite character. Shoot him. Shoot, 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 shoot! No effect. <laughs> hey, what's that? Looks absolutely awful in this. They're like a scaling up for the fighting. It would have been great if he was just in like massive pixels. Oh, oh, slow down! Oh, no, KO. <laughs> what, was that slow down? <laughs> no, yeah, that was just KO. <laughs> that was KO, okay. Alright. Uh, come on then, show the other one. 
Alright. Not too bad. Now this one. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. I think last time I tried it, it was just unplayable, so. Should be able to see the, the limits of the stock emulator on this. Okay, we've got another message. Uh, the aliens from Metal Slug 3 are also a selectable character, but I think he needs to be unlocked. <laughs> I'm not doing it on that game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it was the King of Fighters 12, maybe, but... <laughs> Samurai Spits! Alright. Okay. Oh, God. Let's choose... I mean, it looks alright, but I mean, I just started straight away into a two-player game. <laughs> alright. Is that normal? I don't know. You can see the background as well, you can see things flickering in and out. Yeah. This is probably just the stock emulator not doing its job. Have you seen this? <laughs> Mm. Oh god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Alright then. Good. Well, we can delete this one then, can't we? Um, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Just... You can do it right now. Go to settings and delete it. <laughs> good plan. Good plan. So let okay, let's just give up on this one, shall settings we? Settings go down. <laughs> All right. Um, shall we uh, swap over and show what you've been experimenting with? Can do. Um, sorry, let me just delete this. Uh, make some space. Uh, what have I been experimenting with? You mean? Uh, Flycast. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I pressed this one a few times. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've installed Flycast. That was a recent thing. That was maybe like three days ago. And, yeah, we have the emulator here, which can load, I believe, is it Atomus Wave, as well as uh, Naomi, I believe. So we can check out the Metal Slug if you want. Yep. Did you show it in this one last time, or were you showing it in MetroArt last time? I can't remember. Oh! I think, um... Uh, me metal... How do you spell metal? Wait, metal slug, yeah. Badly. Is it even on there? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a big. The big issue with this is like you don't know whereabouts you're looking. Uh, <laughs> especially if you got a large ROM set. So. Uh, mm -hmm. M slug. M slug six. There we go. You saw it. Wait, wait, wait. You saw it. Yeah. It was M S L U G. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Two of them. <laughs> Excellent. Is one a Q and one a, a bin, or what is this? Possibly. Uh, or they could just right. be both zips of a different folder. Because I've got right. two folders on. Um, yeah, yeah, so this is M slug 6. I think I've saved the state. Right. Well, that's working really well here. Oh. Not working at all. Broke it. Oh no. <laughs> you had it in RetroArch last time. Let's show it in RetroArch. Alright. Oh, oh. Wait. Exit. Ooh. Not working. Maybe I just need to load the bottom one. I think, yeah. Could be. As you see, the menu's a bit of a mess, so. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look amazing. 0 0.1 frames per second, that looks very promising. It's dead, mate. No, I, th I think it just takes a while to load the state. Honest. Yeah? I don't know. It might be dead. <laughs> Nux, just in time for Metal Slug 6. Woohoo. Hello, Nux. <laughs> yeah, you can see it not working at all. <laughs> it's not it's good, me good preparation here. <laughs> it's not given an error yet. <laughs> right, I've got an idea. How about we turn this off and show it on uh, RetroArch? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait now, now it moves. What's the... Uh... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Dun, dun, dun. I, I do want to show it in this, actually, to be fair. Um, because... 
Retro no, I got the apps mixed up. I actually meant Retro Arch. Um, can you do King of Fighters or something? See if that works. Just give me a sec. Because I believe... That one does actually work. There was Dolphin. We might just have to... Uh, yeah, I, I, we probably just have to wait, to be fair. Dolphin? You want to see a Dolphin? Dolphin Blue? Is that Dolphin Blue or whatever it was called? It, it, yeah, Dolphin yeah, Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just flicking around the menu here. Um, yeah, I can do Dolphin Blue. We'll just wait. I'm not going to touch it. Let it load. I might have been uh, switching with the ROM files and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so there's a big difference between all of the games that work on uh, Flycast as well as, uh, you know, compared to RetroArch, which is... It seems that there are some kind of like graphical errors on Flycast, mm -hmm. um, which is like maybe just around the sprites is like a one pixel box. Alright. So, yeah, sorry, uh, I should mention this to, uh, uh, to set this up. You need to go to settings, control. And then uh, the top one here where it says physical devices, Android virtual, press map. And then you've got the buttons here for a Dreamcast, or you can press the top right, arcade button names. And then just go through one, two, three, four. Uh, so one, two, three on the top, and then four, five, six on the bottom. And uh, you can go, where is it, coin? Coin, you, you map that, press the map button and press the coin button. And then uh, I think there's a start button as well. Start here, and you can set that. Uh, yeah, you can make the configs like that. Week, week. So this is open blue. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I can't remember if that would be. Uh, I can't see anything around the around the sprites. Can you oh yeah, your end. Actually, no, there are nothing. There's nothing on this game, but uh, King of Fighters 11, you can see it, and also uh, that one looks different there. Oh, this looks so cool. Uh, if you notice any new dropouts, audio dropouts, mm -hmm. that was the main thing that you could get there. The audio uh, is not coming through very much at all. I don't uh, raise the volume. Well, it works. games you said before? Metal Slug? Yeah, Metal Slug did not work here, did it? it? It would work if we left it, like, a little bit. If we leave it, like, a little bit, it'll work. We will have to try and talk about something. I don't know if I want to do that. Audio seems much better than an, on RetroArch. Can you hear the audio? I can't hear the audio. Oh, maybe oh do, you know why like... I can't, do you know why I can't hear the audio? It's because you're using it with our little, talk, our little webcam thing, right? Do you, do you think it could be because I've muted the stream? So yeah. I can hear you while I'm chatting. Could be that, couldn't it? Win. So we probably just deafened everyone by turning up the volume. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to. Oh, sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. All right, so <laughs> did this last week as well, didn't we? We we may have. Uh, so right, so with RetroArch, right? So Hyoga Lee, uh, the reason why we didn't actually get onto it straight away, uh, we did actually try it maybe in was it February? No, it was probably about January? March, April, I think. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, February, maybe. maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Around March time, right? We did try it. And then uh, 
what, what game did we play? I, I tried Raptor on DOS on the DOS emulator in RetroArch, right? Yeah, and that was awful. It played like mud. We're talking like maybe about five five frames a second, or something like that. This ain't working, is it? <laughs> well, it's not, no, it's not working. <laughs> I think we're going to use different posts. Uh, different, uh... Yeah. And <laughs> as you can see, it's very reliable and has fewer graphical glitches than on the stock emulator. <laughs> What's that? Sorry? That's turned it off. <laughs> but actually, one, one thing that will work is uh, this here, um, because I believe it deserves a, <laughs> a showing. Is it SM? Okay, okay dupe. Now nah, you know what, screw it. Let, let's go to the other one. Raycat. Yeah, uh, good idea. Let's go to RetroArch. It looks a lot better anyway. This GUI is absolutely awful. I think you, if you wanted to launch games for that flycast, you'd need to find a way to start it without going to the menu. Mm -hmm. And then like make an icon for one game and then start that game directly. Yep. Instead of faffing about. Yeah, so like... Yeah, we got Amiga on here, uh, Atomus Wave, Doom. <laughs> yeah, we have a video. Uh, Tim made a video of how to set up all of Amiga with uh, all the paths and everything. <laughs> oh, Dreamcast. Wait, Dreamcast has got oh, Slug 6. <laughs> oh, damn it! All right, I'll have to re, re add that later. Okay, so I'll do it later. What's going on now? Um, <laughs> yeah, carry on, carry on. Keep speaking. Have you busted it? You, oh. I might have busted it. Do you, do you want me to re, re, re enable things? Should be okay. <laughs> ROMs, Dreamcast, scan this folder. Yeah, scanning the archives and then go. And go back to Dreamcast and then Metal Slug 6. No, I didn't like that. Um, yeah, I think it's the zip file that um, I should have changed it. That might work. Oh, well. Well, we can't show Metal Slug 6 then. What about any others? It's working. There we go. It's working. It's working. King of Fighters. Go. Yeah, I can't show Metal Slug 6 right now because I've been dumb about it. Yeah, it happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this is, yeah, King of Fighters uh, 11 again, but this is with the scan lines. Uh, the lower resolution. I should These are the RetroArch scan lines, which get added, added on directly by RetroArch, right? The oh, right. You are so here you can change up options, make it a bit better, a little bit. Um, I know we could change the these, screen hack uh, on. Looks at, are these converted AW ROMs? This is actually the same ROM as before. Yeah. So we're talking like exactly the same game, right? So we should be able to save that there. I'm gonna save a state. Save a state there. So we're gonna close it. And we're gonna run it again. What's your plan here? My plan is we're gonna load up the widescreen hack version of King of Fighters 11. Okay. Boom. There we go. So I've uh, switched to the hack, so we've got like a wide, widescreen version of it. Yeah. That looks like graphical glitching. Yeah, on the very the... left and the very right, you'd be getting yeah. the graphical glitches because it's the uh, widescreen hack. Okay, that's because of the widescreen, because they have some lines on the menu as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be yeah right so yeah, you can see you've got a big full screen here, and the very, very right is the widescreen hack. So you don't actually use that if you don't want to. Okay. But if you're on like an arcade unit with uh, a widescreen display, this would look incredible. How's it playing? Is it like it's slowing down? Right. You got the scanline kind of low. Oh. 
bro. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is not the same round. Okay, we've got... XX Dark Soul XX has joined us, welcome. And and Pico. I don't know who they are. Pico Van. I don't know if I don't know what I don't know what Pico means. Uh, hello Pico. Alright. So yeah, that's that's the same ROM but on uh, yeah, it's, um on RetroArc Flycast. What a shame we haven't got Metal Slug 6 working. Oh well. Uh, I might have to cry. Uh, we could give it a try. Do you want us to try it? Give it one more try. If not, we'll show some Amiga. Yeah. If it, won't, if it doesn't work, it'll just exit to the Android screen. Shock. Shock. It's working. Maybe. Uh, this is, okay, this isn't the converted ROM. This is the original ROM, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's locked up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Give it, give it. Give it a second. Give it about that many seconds. Oh, there we go. <laughs> What's going on now? <laughs> give it that many seconds. There we go. There we go. Wait. Yeah. So this is one of the issues with um, these huge games, is that it locks up the controls if you, I think, maybe use too much memory or something. Because now, right now. My buttons aren't working. So mm. we may have RetroArch up and things, but nothing's working on the Pandora. Shame. Yeah. Big shame. So, let's turn it off. Sorry, guys. Let's go out to the pub. Well, yeah, good idea. <laughs> we'll show you that next time. <laughs> yep. Boom. Okay. Uh, where are we up to? We didn't show any Amiga. We, do we uh, want to show Amiga or not? We can do. Amiga's probably a bit more, um, uh, a bit more reliable than uh, the the Thomas Wave, especially if you're using uh, RetroArch. Okay, well we'll write it down to do um, Metal Slug on the Thomas Wave next time. Mm -hmm. And um, we've either got Amiga or we've got Tekken on the list. Tekken Seven. Tekken Seven. <laughs> Tekken Seven. <laughs> You want to see Tekken 7 or Amiga? What? Whatever. Uh, does anyone want to see Amiga, yes or no? No one's going to say anything now. No, I've done my release, you know. Call. Frozen. Help. I'll just pretend. I'll just pretend someone said yes. The fact that it's playing Atomic Wave is all pretty awesome. At all, it's pretty awesome, says Chris. That's true. Um, what do you reckon? Hands up, Amiga. I'll, I want to see Amiga. Show me Amiga. All right. Like have you got a whole ROM set on there, or what have you got? Yes, um, show Amiga, they say. Oops. don't know where the background's gone, but okay. Matt's gone. Oh, I've got, I've got some stern words to share with him later on. All right, which game would you like? Because I don't know if any of these work. <laughs> oh, I can try the ones do, that I do don't Lotus, work. Lotus, Lotus. I know you always you always play Lotus. <laughs> Lotus? Oh, I'm a big fan of Lotus. Uh, not that Lotus. Uh, this Lotus, yeah. Um, let's try. Do you ever play Lotus in the past? Yeah, yeah. Only a couple of times. Though. I saw it at a friend's house. Always at the friend's house, yeah. With the you with a white car. So I always, guess. Yeah. Always at a friend's house. <laughs> play Postman Pat, says Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, he says, I'm Bao Long. I'm Bao oh, Long. Bao Long. Bao Long. Bao Long. <laughs> Bao Long. <laughs> you know, you know, man. The <laughs> interesting... Oh, one minute. I need to increase the size of that. You know, the interesting <laughs> thing about these Bao Long things, right, is... Uh, did, 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 is that you can actually open up the uh, the switch and change the switch out for uh, a sandwich. Okay. It fits <laughs> perfectly. Yeah, so you can Probably have like, Bao Long outside and the uh, real uh, sandwich switch on the inside. Okay, well, I need to change the di, 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 video options. Okay, give me a sec, man. Close content. All right. Run. Just, just going to change it so we've got full screen here. This is actually on the uh, tutorial that we did. Um, She's not ready. 
Boop, boop, boop. Maximum. Okay, so let's go to the ax uh, maximum overdrive. That's the our request to fill the screen, right? Yeah. So we switch to full screen. <clears throat> Start maybe. Great value for replacing cracked sandler buttons. Oh yeah, man. Like so, yeah. So these blue. <laughs> Sorry. So you see these blue ones here. This is a sandwich, yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is a. Uh... Wait. Yeah, it's bao long. The pink one's bow long, right? But the thing is, like, I've got some that are really faded, the color on the blue ones. So what you could do is, I think, is it these things, these little holes here, like jab them in with a screwdriver, and you can actually pull out the top here. Mm -hmm. And then you can take out the switch. You can pull out the switch. And, and you can do the same with this, and you can have a sandwich bow long. All right. <laughs> If you wanted if that. you want to do that <laughs> if you wanted to do that it's, it's more of an idea of like you know repairing i guess if you had like an issue you know with any switch you know yeah um so what's going on here are you playing here or is this a demo so that was the uh yeah that's the main screen i'm just uh starting up but i don't know if you noticed that like even though the Amiga was like a nay four point, you know, four four three aspect ratio, or whatever. I mean, this fills the screen so well. Oh, whatever this is, widescreen. <laughs> yeah. Can you not see that? Looks amazing, man. Even though I'm playing completely gash, but yay or nay. <laughs> Looks good to me. I just need to uh, write something here. All right. Man, so ever since playing this game, I always wanted a, a Lotus Elan. This this car uh, that you're driving here. I remember like walking around the streets of uh, Preston, and I wanted looking for a, a rectangle. Red... Yeah, what's that? Looking for a rectangle like this one. Well, I did get no, <laughs> I did get a rectangle <laughs> pointed at my head one time, but. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. But this this car, when I saw this one in real life, and it just pulled up like just right next to me, it's like, oh my god, do me please, you know. Like, I could I could drive one of these. This, I played Lotus Two when I was a kid. <laughs> this looks like it's working really well. This is like full frame rate, isn't it? Uh, fullish, I guess. Full Have you measured them? Yeah. Try to turn on the FPS counter. Would you like that? Just do a sprite swap for us to a CX-5 and you can be in the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to a CX-5. Oh, God. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> like, I wish I wish I, would, I was loving the CX-5 as much as I was lo loving the Subaru, to be fair. Like, mm. oh, man. Subaru, like, drove like a godsend. But this, uh, the CX-5, I mean, it, it drives really well. It's a, it's a good car, but it drives. <laughs> it drives and it drives well, but not as well as a Supra, you know. Hey. Woo! Yeah, guys. Right, if if you so. uh, if you've still not passed your driving test, like if you want to drive cars, you need to learn how to uh, <laughs> ramp over <laughs> a log. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Are we good All with right, this? Then? We got... Yeah, go on then. Shall we show Tekken Seven? Oh, Tekken 7. Has anyone heard of Tekken 7? I mean, I guess you have. <laughs> well, I've heard of Tekken 7, yeah. <laughs> really? Have you heard of this Tekken 7? <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, we've got here something called Tekken Global Mod Season 3. I don't know if you've heard of this, but um, some, some uh, guys, some modders from, I think, Korea, maybe? Um... Yeah, they've made Tekken 7 for, it's the PSP, essentially, you know, it's a PSP mod of uh, Tekken 6. Which, yeah, it's a mod. Yeah. I don't play Tekken enough to, like, know the differences, but I think it's got some new characters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh... These are all new spot-out textures, right? <laughs> 
Help! Who's new here? I don't know. Who's new? No idea. Who's the one with a silly face? Who's the kangaroo? We probably wasn't in before. He's got cool hair. Oh, Does wait, it have Lucky, Lucky Chloe? Who's Lucky Chloe? That's a crazy mod. Where should I be looking for? Uh, where? I don't know. Can you see Lucky Chloe? I cannot see Lucky Chloe. I'm going through. Is that that? that is that her? Uh, she should probably be called Chloe. That's a good point. All right, Lucky Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. No, Chloe. probably not there. Chloe. Doesn't look like I, it. I'm doing a double take. No, I don't think Chloe's here. Oh well. I think Elisa's new, right? Elisa's not usual. No, no, I'm fine, Elisa. Yay, nay. Yeah, go on. Whichever, just do random. Elisa! <laughs> Get ready know. for the next one. Josie is new, she's Tekken 7. Oh, for f. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. Round one. Okay, okay. Fight! Bottom row, four from the left, says Chris. Four, four from the left. Four from the left on the bottom row. Thank you. All right, four from the left, the bottom. Row. Uh, four, bottom row. Eddie. Eddie, four from the left. You mean Josie? Uh, maybe the uh, field jo left. Josie, um, right? No, Josie, fifth from the left. Christy Montero. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, Get that's ready one. for the next battle. I don't know who she is. Go easy on me. Wait, that's not Josie. Round one. Hey. Who's that then? Fight. Oh, dear. oh no, that that's not Josie. I think uh, you wouldn't argue with her, would you? She says it's Thursday. It's Thursday. That's not Josie. Maybe we need to change the game settings here for cheats. No, I think it, I think it's mucked up. Never mind. You think you reckon? <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, let's move on. What's the next on the agenda? Let's move on. <laughs> Josie is Christelle. Right? Bow long! Bow long! What's going on? Now let's uh, skip that. <laughs> we had some questions that we got asked last week that we wanted to cover. And maybe if anyone's watching any questions they have now, we can show um, how to use FTP and how to change the boot video. Alright, FTP. Let's that do was that. one of them. And, and show where the external drives are on FTP. We could combine those two points. Okie dokes. So, um, right, okay, so we need FileZilla, yeah? Yeah. So when you um, jailbreak with Pandora Ultimate, it opens up a FTP port on your Pandora IP. So if you have, like, the Wi-Fi edition of the Pandora, you can find out the IP address from your settings menu and then uh, type it in here. And type in so uh, One minute. We FTP. Should, we should show this uh, this piece of the kit here. Uh, it's wireless yeah, network then. watcher. If you if you don't know about this, uh, it actually just uh, checks your whole network for IP addresses and names here as well. So okay. so here uh, we can see uh, O eight is to Shenzhen something something, which is the this is the Pandora Games three D. So that's the IP address I want. Okay. And then... And that one's already configured, is it? Uh, uh, what's that? Already configured. And the encryption? Okay. Yeah, that should be all right. And then the, the logon type you leave as anonymous, because there's no username and password. Oh, right, and you yeah. type in the port 7777. There we go. It's not 21 as default. It's 7777. So we connect. So, um, there we go. yeah, go on then. Connected. So here on the right, we've got the 3D plus. And here on the left, my, my pooter. Um, well, what, we can we can show some common folders. We could show where the skin is, where the hard drives are. All right. So one of the, the skin, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's start from the start. Okay. Uh, start from the top. Uh, storage. Uh, let's go into external storage. This is where your uh, memory, um, your memory uh, micro SD or hard drive, whatever's stuck into your Pandora Games 3D is. Uh, right. So SDA one is your micro SD. Or... No, the SD SDA one is the USB stick, I think, isn't it? Depending on how it's mounted. Right. Okay. Let's have a double click and have a look. This this is actually, yeah, this is my hard drive, which is in the internal uh, micro USB thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's where my. That's where it is. Yeah. 
So you can um, access it remotely and swap out your files here by drag and drop without taking out your uh, Pandora box. Micro or taking it apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. OK, otherwise. So, um, the about, what, uh, what we wanted to say, what we said last week about this is if you're on a 3D Plus, all of this is unencrypted at this stage. So you can access any of the files inside. Um, and just sort of swap them out without worrying about the Pandora encryption getting in the way. If you have an older firmware up to February 2017, uh, 2020, you um, you can't just swap out the files here in, uh, in this list, in this folder, in this SDA1 games folder, because yep. they're all encrypted by the system and then you can just mess things up completely. All right, so in this common folder, um, I mentioned before about the Neo Geo, uh, the BIOS file. Um, so if you yeah. go down here, uh, this Neo Geo zip. If you replace that with uh, the uh, was it the Universe BIOS, or uh, or the Japanese BIOS, uh, you can actually get your lovely blood, whatever. Uh, fucking gross. Um, or the <laughs> Universal <laughs> BIOS. You know, you can uh, switch it out there, and all your FBA games will actually have, uh, you know, UniBIOS or Japanese style. Uh, on, and Japanese on, text mostly as well. Yeah, Japanese text. That's one thing, but it's uncensored. If that if that's something important to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we can actually show if you go up a couple of steps. There, uh, two, three folders. Go up three folders, and then um, on on the SDA one, there's probably a skins folder. Uh, not on in this one. one. This is the. Oh, not on this one. This is the plus, right? So okay, but I want in, in this folder that uh, you would have on older firmware skins um, folder, where you can swap out the background color, uh, the background picture, the background logo of your menu. Okay, so you'd switch it there, yeah. Yeah, um, we can see this here on the 3D plus model in data config. So if we go up like about five levels, then it's in there because they uh, they messed around on the firmware in this in this edition. Yeah, and the that. skin only loads from data config. So you're going to get data config. And you can see like the subfolder skin, and that is all of the uh, the three graphics in there, I think. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, so maybe I can... So if you download those, swap them out, edit them, you can change however your Pandora looks. <laughs> use default met use default thing and it opens up in paint. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, so there you go, and uh, yeah, you're a heart. Well, My you know. heart. So you can swap them all out. Um, and uh, do we want to show the boot video? Do we need the boot video? Can do. I help. What beer? You know, sounds good. <laughs> all right. So a uh, boot video and is. What was do that? you remember where it was? Nay. No. Probably data. It's on on on. It's not on data. It's on system, etc. System so we need to go. To, yeah. Right. Oops, missed. Let's try again. And get it there. Video, there it is. And uh, that is an MP4 file. So if you download it, you can edit it, um, run it through Handbrake, whatever, swap it out, and then you can have you can change the loading music, loading video, whatever you like. Um, the, the system partition, though, on the uh, on the Android boxes is read-only, so you can't actually create any files here or change them uh, without telling the system that it's allowed. So we need to actually um, connect up using Telnet over Wi-Fi and tell it how to do it. And every time I say Telnet, Tim smiles. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm thinking Teletubbies. <laughs> Teletubbies, excellent. <laughs> There we go. Are you? Oh, you're logged in already, are you? I, I might have. Uh, no, but I no, used no, no. something else earlier. So. All right. So we need. Uh, we're going to use Pooty, right? Pooty. Pooty. Yeah, we'll put on Pooty. All right. So uh, um, yeah, I'm going to log into one. Yeah, the same IP address as, as earlier to tell them. Yeah. Put four four four. And on four 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 four. Right. Open. Okay. So we're in. Yeah. And now you can basically run any sort of Linux commands here if you know Linux. Lus. Or uh, to make one, to make the system partition, yeah, ls, whatever. And you can see all the files that are on there that you can see in FTP. Or you can also um, tell the system partition to be read write. And do you remember it? 
Mount 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 O R W Yeah Yo Remount as well. Com uh, it's comma remount after R W. Sorry. No, not the O. Not the O. Yo, it's not yo. W uh, R W remount. Oh, there we go. Like yay? It's R W comma remount. It's not. I've not. Uh, have you got a comma between those? Now I have. Now you have, and that should be it. And now, if it works properly, um, you can now have a completely read write. Yep. System folder, uh, yeah. So uh, that's now full, uh, now worked, and now you'll be able to upload and swap out the boot video file. But you've got to be careful with this because you can really kill your system. Uh, deleting a file that shouldn't be deleted because um, it's now read write until you reboot your machine, and then it goes back to read only. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> Right. Um, There's one point here that says external drives. I don't know if that means anything. Not external drives? All right. Let, we, uh, where external drives are? We've, we've shown where that is. We did. In the storage folder. There we go. There we go. OK. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're basically at the end, unless people have got questions. And if people have got a question, write it down now. <laughs> write it down now while I play some. At least oh. Matt's not here. So uh, at least Matt's not here. You mean? Yeah, otherwise we're getting loads to... of uh, facetious questions. You're expecting him to ask something a bit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, it seems a bit quiet unless uh, oh knobs <laughs> says Matt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then. So um, I think we're just about done. Shall we wrap it up for today? We can wrap it up, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna... So what are you waiting for? Join the potato party. If you'd like to support us or have access to the newest Pandora Ultimate release, join our Patreon or grab us a coffee. A huge thank you to all our patrons. Willem Elbers, January Lou, Martin Palmer, Will Bird, Rivera, Ron Polas, Jonathan Du, Kevin Sanchez, Francesco, Lee Dragon 999, Jose Lopez, Palenzuela, Cahill Reedy, Chris Hannard, and Giovanna Castaldi. Good luck and have fun.